What's happening, people? Today we are here with Pokemon Uranium. And, uh... Our team is pretty unleveled to be handling this, but I hope we make it. Uh... I really was skeptical about rushing around the region and just trying to uh, grind out a little bit in order to uh, prepare for this. But we are going to take them out and we're going to see how we do. And also, yeah. Oh, it's lagging still. In my old computer, this used to lag, but now it's still lagging. It's because all these tiles in this... You guys are going to see why this game lags. I mean, inside this gym is... A lot of bad stuff is happening. I don't even have that many tabs that open. Um, I'm nothing but Google Chrome and what should I call it? Uh, Sony Vegas up. <laughs> Anyways, hey, will you look at that? You made it here at last. This is the eighth and final gym in Tandor. This building is a shrine to the gods of Otius and Motius. And the gym leaders are the pro prince and princesses, princess of the ninja clans. <clears throat> Not only that, but they're said to be the mortal voice of the gods themselves. Yes, yes, we heard. To reach them, you'll have to solve a puzzle. Remember, Otias and Motias are all about balance. Don't forget. Don't freak out, okay? You can handle this. I believe in you. Yeah. Sorry, it's a bit very, very late. So the goal is here is that I need to, um... Create a balance of tiles. Rumbling thunder, then flash. The whole sky lights up. Lightning cleaves the air. What the fuck are you talking about, Sark? The truth is, this used to be very difficult when I first started attempting this. If it gets, if it gets too difficult again, I will just, uh... Go on YouTube, or not YouTube, but uh, look at, look at my Uranium Wiki page or whatever, and just search up what I need to do here. Is I do not want to waste my time I'm trying to figure something out. Okay, one more come on. Are you going for last resort when you have you have more than one move, don't you? That's not even stab. Like what? Stab. Oh, it isn't stab. He was running an average body slam. All oh, electric types is kind of unique. Alright. Gonna leave up with you, my dude. My man, the Gyarados. The edge of a sword, finer than a single thread, sharp as death itself. Like your breath? I'm kidding. Truth is, for a lot of people, this uh, area lags. Um, maybe it's just my computer, it's in general, and it can't handle it. These two moves are almost worthless. <sighs> You would have something that walls me. That walls me, but actually, no, I'm just gonna step a dragon X. Because you're intimidated. You're intimidated. I resist that. Yeah. Now it's time to beat your ass in the next couple turns.
And what I'll do here is dive. I'm gonna get some HP back. Oh yeah. Okay. So you are this thing. Okay, I'm gonna aqua tell you. Yeah, that's the thing about this Pokemon. It's very, very frail. More frail than I imagined. Jeez. Oh, that was easy. Listen, hear the sound of 1,000 birds singing. They all sing for you. Well, somebody needs, needs to sing the joys and the amazingness of how bogus you is, boy. It's amazingly bogus. Your ass looks like... Okay, no, never mind. Let me stop. Switching locks along. Delicious. Yeah, I see fly, huh? You can't really touch me. Ball won't do shit, but eh? Yeah, I know she went for combine. Here, we'll finish him off. I can't wait to beat this, beat this gym leader, and that way we can get fly. Because I honestly need that. Yes, yes, crunch. I resist, buddy. You're not even a physical attacker. I need one more to one shot him. I got the fence drop. But it's too late. Oh, I thought it was with one shot. Damn it. The page. What if Tailwind had the secondary effect where flying type moves could not miss during Tailwind's uh, activation? That'd be so cool. On plus three, will you die when hit? No, you will not. It's never easy. I don't, I don't even understand, understand how that flamethrower even did that much damage on plus three. I resist that, especially defensive. You blew me away. Yes, I did, bitch. White tiles, 57. Black tiles, oh boy. Oh, 
That was hella easy. Okay. <laughs> uh, really easy. Boom, pow. A flower blooms across the darkened sky. It's a firework. Okay. Wait, yeah, where do y'all get this weird ass dialogue from? Lavin, this Pokemon is a fire and dragon type, but stats are pretty piss. Pow. You are intimidated. Yep. Couple of HP right there. You, my dude, can get it too. Some HP. Right, dive is actually working out because it actually gives me uh, health here. Fire sex. This is the last Pokemon. Yes, it is. I'm gonna dive as well. This Pokemon's ability is Mega Launcher, not Water Absorb. So we're good. I believe it's a mega launcher, it should be. Uh yes. Wait, hold up. Yeah, a lot of Pokemon on my team here are gonna level up. Sweet. A tiny trickle joins with others to form a raging waterfall. What? Where y'all come up with this weird ass dialogue? It's beyond me. Um, I just hit my mic. My bad, people. I am especially defensive, Metalix, so I should be able to take hits from this thing for days. Okay, I lie. I'll get two Akio. He should not be hitting blizzards easily, but he's hitting two in a row. It's like hitting two focus blasts in a row. Let's hope he doesn't have anything else strong. You're faster than me. Wow. Damn, man, Lynx. You slow as hell. Can I live that? Even though you mega evolved and bulky, you still take. <laughs> you don't take nothing. Oh wow. I should be able to kill you. No, I lied. Alright, let's go ahead and do this then. Okay, so let's go ahead and revive you, my dude. We have rare candy, so we have three of them. Oh, I forgot about that. I have to use those. Do I still have those? I kind of do. Do I have anything else? Carrot wine. Okay, and I uh, just need this, and we're done. A full moon rises over the black ocean waves. Tisuki and Nami. Right. Okay, y'all, some weird ass individuals. Very, very weird. 
I'm gonna fix my mic a little here. Okay. Oh, you may have flamethrower, but luckily, Mega Metalinx's ability is heatproof. Which really negates, I mean, decreases uh, fire type attacks. So, I'm not worried at all. I'm gonna send one more. Defense curl. Haha. <laughs> That doesn't matter to me at all. Yeah. Everything dies. Magius, goodbye. It doesn't have aftermath, good. Actually, no, I don't think Ma Miss Magus gets that ability, right? Or does it? I feel like it does. Yeah, let's switch it up, up to you, 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 you. No, you. Now nah, you. Yes, yeah, second matter. Welcome, Challenger. I am Princess Hinata of Clan Tisuki. And I am Prince Kaito of Clan Nami. We are the leaders of this gym, but more than that, we are wife and husband too. 100 years ago, our clans were at war. It was a time of violence, bloodshed, and death. But in that time of darkness, a light shone through. Two souls met and forged a love strong enough to vanquish the chaos. I was the beginning of a it was the beginning of a new era for our people. Our gods, once emblazoned on war penance emblazoned on war penance came together as a symbol of strength and harmony. And the two whose love ended the war, the gods gave them their greatest blessing. We became the mortal avatars of our gods, Will. Now, one hundred years later, we live on. We lead our clans, justly and with great love. We are the keepers of this temple, and the leaders of this clan. Trainer, you may challenge either of us, but know that when you do, you cannot rest until you have defeated us both. When you are ready, speak to one you wish to challenge first. Then we shall judge your strength. Well, here we go. I need to be running this in this direction. There we go. So, now my face is not in front of the screen. Uh, my mic stand is not in front of the screen. So you choose to face the rising sun. You are a courageous one. But Pokemon are strongest in the sunlight. Careful not to look directly at them. Lest they blind you. Prepare to be tested by the power of Oteus. Hinata. Flareon. Too bad I do not have Hydro Pump. Where are you gonna go for uh, Sunny Day? No Flare Blitz, straight off the bat. Luckily, Flareon is a very slow, in I mean, very slow Pokemon. So I can just dive here, get a little bit of leftovers back, and finish you off. Gellin, grass and electric. I cannot touch you at all, even if even if I had bounce. And the best method of being you. Is uh, either my second man or my Melix. Knowing you, you're gonna go for an electric type move. So I think Melix may be my best bet. Well, not really, but. Uh. Is 
It's not doing too much damage. We're good. As long as we don't get paralyzed. You're a tr You don't get flamethrower at all. You make a flying type moves, but that's about it. Uh, it's not wise to set up on a plus two Pokemon. Sir. Oh, but you survived. I'm not going to have him air slash me and kill me. Ah, shit. Why are you switching the gallon? It can't touch me. And you were at plus two. I'm gonna actually wish here and switch back to my medics. I could just stay in, yes, but uh, I can figure this out in the better method. Because I know her last couple of Pokemon in her team. At this range, 142. It's a tough one. At my level HP and uh, special defense, and your level, I probably can't. Well, I'll live actually. Oh, no way, no way. You're grass and dragon. That grass and flying. I keep forgetting. So you really have nothing to touch me with. Okay. Why are you faster than me? One more home claws and then we can one-shot you. Now I will heal at this very turn. Yeah, I can two shot you. I don't know why would you heal at half HP, but okay. Ah, oh, defense is down. I don't have to worry waste any more iron tails. Leaf blade. You you're you're wasting iron, sir. What's the point in this here? You will eventually get stalled out. I'm doing way more damage than you can recover off. Wasted all your max potions, that's cool. By the blessing of Otios. This is your last Pokemon? Oh, I thought you had more. I knew she had this Whimsicott, which is why I had my Metalinks here. What the? That's Hurricane? <coughs> Looks insane. Level 60. Damn. I defeat him not that you have faced the bright light and not flinched the way. You have triumphed against me, but as night follows day, so too must you prove yourself against my husband. It is time for you to face the dark fear of night time. I use Pokemon that hide in the shadows and wait to strike when their foes are unaware. We imbibe the very essence of ninja. 
with Motius Cleverance, we will test you. Alright, sir, time to kick your ass. I don't have bug buzz for you, bruh. So what I will do is switch into an X-Long. You have Dark Pulse. We didn't even get the chance to heal. It's a good thing we preserved all our Pokemon. I need to set up the plus three in order to one shot him. Otherwise, this thing can just live anything. And this Pokemon are super high level. This Umbra has a little 57. So I have to set up at plus three. Ah, crap. Yeah, I was just trying to kill the Umbreon. Okay, so you're a... I don't know if he's going to switch back at back into his Umbreon. I would predict this, but uh, this is an NPC, so... Yeah, that's what I thought. I need to mute my phone while I'm doing this. Looks like I'm trying to learn Dragon Dance. No, thank you. You're a dark in poison type. I don't know what to switch into you. I guess Psychomare. Because I have nothing to really touch you with. Drain life? Jesus. Why do they do so much damage? Okay, let me heal myself as well, because you like doing this. Actually, well, Drain Life is a <clears throat> physical um, bug type move, I believe, right? What, it, what What's typing is that? Oh my goodness. Oh wow, one shot? It's a little 50... That was level 57. How did I one shot it? Damn, girls, you strong. Uh, honestly, I just need my Gyarados going down here because I don't have a choice. I'm gonna switch into my Nuki line and just blow this thing back. Thank you, Gyarados. For your, for your hard work. Okay, Nucleon, blow this thing back. The intimidate. I see a great future ahead of you, but are you ready for this? Ready for what, sir? Oh shit. <gasps> Mega Arbuck! Oh, that's petrified. But I still outsped it. Huh, weird. You've looked, in looked into the darkness and have overcome your fear. What fear? Congratulations. I must admit, I'm impressive. The blessings of Otios and Motios are upon you now. His fierce power and her serene clarity will guide you. 
As an emblem of their love, you have earned this badge. As a result of their blessing, all Pokemon will obey you, even when traded. You also deserve this TM. Solar Beam. Okay. I'm not sure what they use it for. And also this one. After all, you defeated both of us. Taunt. I can use that. Oh, I guess that's it. Let's go ahead and get the hell out of here. That was actually a lot easier than I imagined. Hey, will you look at that? You made it here at. Wait, oh no. I thought he'll give me some different speech, just like in Pokemon Stage and stuff. But, anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for now. What are you saying? What's going on here? Calling Professor Bimba. Pluto, hey there. So it's true, you just got your 8th badge. You managed to defeat Kaito and Hinata? Wow, that's incredible, Pluto. Of course, I knew you could do it. From the day you left my lab with your partner, with your star by, at your side, I thought to myself, that kid has really got something special. And when you know it, I was right. You've gone above and beyond everybody's expectations. You and Theo both. So, what's next for you? Well, I think it's pretty clear. The championship awaits. It looks like they're still holding it uh, this year, despite the nuclear Pokemon. I guess they aren't letting a little environmental disaster get in their way. Between you and Theo, those other comp competitors don't stand a chance. Huh? Me? I've been hard at work trying to find a uh, cure for the nuclear Pokemon, but since we still don't know what's causing the meltdowns, it's slow going. I'm sure we'll get a breakthrough soon, though. Oh, sorry, Blue. I've got an uh, incoming call. Let me just hang up. See who it is. My bad, I didn't read that last dialogue. It's from the Ranger headquarters in Bell Beach. This must be something very urgent. I'll call you back later, okay? Huh? What's going on? Is the village under attack? Please remain calm. There has been a potential threat. For your safety, we are act evacuating everybody to a safe house for the time being. Citizens of Tsukinami Village, please come with me. Now wait just a second. What's this about a threat? I'm not going anywhere until I know what's going on. Huh. We have reason to believe that there will be soon be a poke attack on a nuclear power plant to the east, similar to the attacks in West Tendor. Now, if you will come with me. What? Why would somebody attack a power plant? Yeah, and how do you... Yeah, and how do you lot know about it ahead of time? Something smells mighty fishy about this. Enough. Cease your chatter at once. The secret leaves themselves. This must be serious. Listen to the rangers. You must follow them to the safe house immediately. At once, your majesty. Oh, now they listen to them, though. Apologies, the people of Tsukinami are not accustomed to taking orders from outsiders. They listen only to the divine wor word of the gods. For many years, we have defended ourselves from threats. However, we are not prepared for dangers such as this one. Please tell us, what have you rangers discovered? We have a clue as to what is causing the power plant meltdowns. Apparently, somebody or something has been causing them on purpose. Our tip told us that... They were on the move and are heading to the power plant, Omicorn, Omicron, because it is the last remaining power plant in Tendor. We know of what happened in Vinoville town, something that is capable of such destruction. This is not the will of the gods, therefore we must fight. You will find the armies of Tsukinami at your service. Good. We'll need strong, capable trainers to help bow the nuclear Pokemon. Already, they are gathering in greater numbers on the island. I've heard of those corrupted Pokemon. The gods cannot allow this corruption to spread further. I will willingly, I will gladly lay down my life for the sake of my clan. That is our oath. We are at your service, O oh great leaders. Make haste to the 
Eastern Power Plant. We shall defend Hisukinami with the power of the gods on our side. Fly swiftly, my Pokemon. They're a bit kooky in this village, aren't they? Yes, they are. <laughs> so, Pluto, are you coming to the power plant too? Killing is headed there as we speak. We will be looking for you when he arrives. Plus, we could use another strong trainer like you to help us out battle against the nuclear Pokemon. Are you coming? Sure. Huh. I knew we could count on you. Ever since you saved me from the nuclear from that nuclear tankoon at Bell Beach. Wait, that was you? But aren't you supposed to be a a guy? That was a guy that I saved from that tankoon. But you're a girl, whatever. I knew you were a hero. Just like your father. Here, let me heal your Pokemon for you. You should take the chance to stock up on some more battle supplies from the mart before you head out. Just let me know when you're ready to go. But hurry, there's no time to waste. Well, I'm going to heal my Pokemon. The Rangers are evacuating the entire village. I can heal your Pokemon, but then we need to go quickly. <laughs> oh wow, that's paying attention to detail. You go on ahead. I need to wrap things up here. Good luck. Everyone left, even these people. Hold up. Oh, wait a second. Hold up. This is weird. Let me check this out. Can I go in there? The door is locked. Damn it. Even the people over here, the receptionist, they left. <laughs> That's so cool. What about the Pokemon Mart? I was told to evacuate this place, but I can't let my merchandise go to waste. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Mart. She's still greeting me. Oh no. She's still greeting me. <laughs> Even though we need to get the hell out of here. You don't have time for this. Huh. I wonder. Okay, I can't enter any building. I can just heal my Pokemon. <laughs> The door is locked. Everyone evacuated. Everyone's gone. I can't go anywhere else. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So I'm going to save right here. That's going to be it for the episode, people. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll be back soon. Peace.